ready to dive into the financial world of Tesla and this analysis. Get ready to hear all the key secret details about how Tesla will fare in the coming weeks and months. Here's a cute fact. Tesla made almost $25 billion in revenue and over $4 billion in net income. However, the net margin for vehicles dropped due to a significant decrease in prices. What's in store for the company's stock price in a bullish market, it could potentially reach a high PA ratio of 60 with a stock price ranging from $240 to $250 per share. On the other hand, if the market turns bearish, the stock price could fall to $163 per share. Our analyst predicts a P ratio between 50 and 60 for the future and believes Q4 will see revenue almost reaching $30 billion, but you're ready to learn about Tesla's financial performance and growth expectations in this informative video analysis. Uh, but uh, before we dive deeper, make sure that you're subscribed to Wall Street Games. Don't forget to, to hit the like and notification bell as well. Tesla reported revenue of almost $25 billion in Q1 with a net income of over $4 billion, mainly driven by vehicle profits. However, the net margin for vehicles dropped to 14.5 due to a significant decrease in prices, ranging from 20 to 10. At the was $1.30, but this figure is likely to be affected by FX currency expenses. Given the record-setting quarter in Shanghai, it's expected that Tesla will incur around $350 in million dollar in currency expenses, which could bring the ups down to $1.19. Tesla shares outstanding will be diluted by one say every quarter with no anticipated buybacks in 2023. As for the stock price, it's currently at around $180 per share with a market cap of over $700 billion and a fee ratio of 55. A potential P of ratio of 50 would put the stock price at $204 per share and a market cap of over six for $50 billion. If the market becomes bullish between April 21st and July 20th, the stock could potentially reach a high PA ratio of 60 with a stock price in the range of $240 and $250 per share. If it goes even higher to a P of 65 or 70, the stock price could reach $300 per share. However, if things take a turn for the worse with a higher interest rate and negative sentiment, the fee Ratio could drop to 40 with the stock price falling as low as $163 per share. A more realistic scenario would be a T of 45 to 50 for the short term. Looking ahead to Q2, Tesla is expected to deliver around 450,000 vehicles, which could result in total revenue of $25, 5 cents billion and a net income of over $4, 3 cents billion, again, impacted by FX currency expenses. We're confident that the financial performance of Tesla will continue to improve. They predict that the company's net income will reach over $27 billion in QN with profits from Tesla Energy alone, totaling almost a quarter of a billion dollars. The bulls expect a significant reduction in expenses, which would result in EPS of $1.29 per share and a total EPS of $4.80. Bulls also believe that Tesla stock price will continue to rise, possibly reaching a few of 70 in the future. However, for Q2, they suggest a safer a fifth of 50 and a fair stock price of $228 per share. The bulls note that interest rates are high and they do not expect the Fed to raise them much higher. They do not predict the price cut of Tesla's vehicles as there is high demand and low inventory. Uh, the bulls also believe that Tesla will continue to grow massively delivering 475,000 vehicles in Q3. Uh, they expect Tesla's earnings to justify a higher key, possibly up to 70, uh, and for the stock price to reflect the company's strong financial performance. In this analysis, we have a stock price of $240 per share during a bull market with a P of 60. However, I personally don't believe it could go beyond 60 hay in Q3 because of the company's crushing performance. The uh, maximum could be 65p, equating to three uns, $12, but I doubt it'll go much higher than that. Uh, in my opinion, AP uh, between 50 and 60 would make sense. This time frame is from October 21st to January 20th, uh, which is nine months from now. So I believe we should be out of the bear market by then. Once we're out, uh, 60 to 75 would make sense, mainly because of the growth expected for Tesla in the production of Cybertrucks. By January 2024, there should be a few thousand Cybertrucks on the road, or at least produced to be delivered. This will be a significant indication of Tesla's progress. If you ask me, I suggest keeping the 
the around 55 or even 50 to avoid the bears and bulls. However, in case something bad happens, such as a cyber strike getting pushed to next year or Shanghai and Berlin's plants closing again, we may see the peak going down to 30, 35 or 40. Nevertheless, I believe a constant key of 50 makes sense since there's a lot of interest in Tesla. Uh, the bulls expect the stock to be around 80, 90 or even 100 PEF. Considering Amazon's negative showings at 100 to FE, this high expectation is due to their consistent missed earnings, which compresses the PFE when they beat earnings. However, Tesla is a different breed. Going into Q4, I predict 500,000 vehicles to be produced and delivered. This production would result in revenue almost reaching $30 billion in total, which is insane. This quarter would be like witnessing a crazy quarter with a net income of almost $5 billion. However, I will reduce it to around $375 million for FX reasons. Therefore, we could still expect over $4.05 billion in net income. According to my analysis, Core is likely to bring an EAPS of $1.36 with the total EPS for 2023 coming in at almost $5. Despite being a recession year, the total deliveries of 2023 will exceed 1.8 million vehicles with a 40 growth UA, which is pretty impressive. And a 50 FA. The uh, stock price is predicted to be around $249 per share. However, I anticipate a bull rally between January 21st, 2024 and April 20th, 2024, and the stock price could reach a 60, uh, trading at around $300 per share. I believe that uh, there will be a violent bull run by the end of 2023 or early 2024, fueled by the Fed pivot and much positive news. If Tesla's PEEF ratio reaches 61, the stock would hit a trillion dollar valuation at approximately $304 per share. If nevertheless, the stock price could rise much higher than that if there's no dilution. So let's say they are diluting by the end of 2023 or the beginning of 2024, a 61 PF would result in a market cap of $1 trillion. At that point, I believe there will be a significant bull run that might last up to uh, 65 or 70. Uh, furthermore, I don't think it'll get to that level, giving a market worth of more than more than one dollar, one cent trillion because of this. I believe that 60p is the highest it may go in Q4 2023 when the profits are released in 2024. Uh, once more, bear sentiment might push it to 40 or even 30. Um, if it falls to 30, that's $150 per share, which is good news. Nonetheless, I'm certain that a bull market will have taken hold by then and a 60 PF wouldn't make sense for Tesla. A reasonable stock price range for the end of this year in 2023 is between $249 and $299 or $300 per share. By the end of the year, I want the price to be at least $260, hence it seems to be comparable. Let's wait and see what happens. Take all of this with a grain of salt and please do your due diligence because this is just a prediction and predictions rarely pan out. And every quarter of 2023, nearly 1.8 million deliveries of Tesla stock are anticipated. 430,000 vehicles were delivered in the first quarter with an EPS of $1.19. Uh, we'll update this in February and March to reflect Shanghai's February sales figures. Um, then we'll have a lot clearer picture of what's going on. As discussed, Tesla had a record setting quarter in Q1 with a net income of over $4 billion and revenue of almost $25 billion, mainly driven by vehicle profits. Looking ahead, it's expected that Tesla's net income will reach over $27 billion in Q1 with a significant reduction in expenses, profits from Tesla Energy, and the delivery of Cybertrucks. While the bulls expect Tesla's stock price to continue to rise and possibly reach a fee of 70 in the future, our analysts predict a P of ratio between 50 and 60 for the short term. The stock price could potentially reach a high pew of 60 with a range of $240 to $250 per share in a bullish market. However, in a bearish market, the stock price could fall to $163 per share. Uh, we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Wall Street Games and hit the like and notification bell to stay updated on our latest financial analysis. Thank you again for watching, um, and we'll see you in the next video.